my parents just came home and turned on the TV and turned on the news, and on the news it's, Donald Trump is the first president to ever be impeached two times. And that's when I realized why the Democrats are impeaching Donald Trump, because they want the headline, Donald Trump is the first person that's ever been impeached twice. And um, it all clicked in my head. Um, this is who the politicians are. The politicians are for politics. They're for playing political gangs, or games. They're for um, theater versus actually doing something with their time. So this morning I tried to look up COVID-19 vaccine locations because my parents are both over 65. I want them to get vaccines. I quarantine, I don't go to restaurants. They go to restaurants every freaking day. And so I'm trying to figure out how to get them vaccinated so that they don't kill me. And I went online and when I look for COVID vaccination centers, you know what's the first website I got to? Buy insurance. Here, 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 buy some insurance from me. And then I had to really work at it. And what I found out is that there are like six hospitals in Colorado, like six hospital systems that you have to call. And then maybe you can get a COVID-19 vaccine. Cause my mom said she's going to get it from King Super, which by the way, I think all health clinics inside of grocery stores should be shut down. I think the last thing we need is sick people going to a grocery store to get treatment. They, for an airborne disease, no, I don't, I don't think you should be breathing in my grocery store if, you, if you're sick. I think that our, our, like we need to spread people out. Like We don't need centralized locations where people can get sick. And it's bad enough that we all go to the grocery store. The grocery stores should be like national security locations. Like We should really be working with these grocery store employees to, let, to get people tested. Because the reality is I don't think anybody's getting tested anymore. If I get COVID-19, do you think I'm going to get tested? No, I'm not. Do you think anybody's going to find out that I ever got COVID-19 if I get it? No. So we have reached the point in this disease where people are not getting tested. People are not reporting that they have COVID-19, where um, people are super spreading more than ever. And um, no one's even thinking about it. No, no one's thinking about this problem from a, a solving it perspective or from massively reducing the spread perspective, everyone is basically just holding out for a vaccine and keeping their fingers crossed. And some of us are trying to avoid the disease very, very seriously and then other people are not. And so um, I don't think the politicians are taking it very seriously because what are the politicians doing? I need to spend the next month, which is a like, this is flu season. We're, we are there. We have finally reached flu season. It's going to really hit in March, but I'm just saying we finally got there. They want to spend the beginning of flu season impeaching someone so that they can get a headline on the news instead of actually dealing with the problem. And the way to deal with the problem is to actually think rationally. It's to think like me, but it's not going to happen because y'all don't even have a freaking website yet. I mean, I, I, I don't get it. I mean, there has to be one freaking website that has a map on it that tells me all the COVID vaccine, COVID centers and like, there's a phone number. You're, you're telling me that there's a phone. You, you want everyone to call a phone number to try to figure out if they can get a vaccine. I don't get it. I mean, I, it really seems like you have no offense, Dr. Fauci, but it really seems like you have an 80 year old man in charge of trying to solve COVID-19 instead of a 30 year old man with a computer because we live in a computer age. We need people that think like computer people. We got a bunch of people that can't, like I'm telling you, someone that's 38, 39, 40 years old, they're never gonna be as good at computers as someone that's 35. Because I can't, like, because people my age came in with Windows 3.1 or Windows 4.1 or wi Windows um, XP. And people that are older didn't. They, can't, they, they had typewriters in high school or in, 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 in elementary school. Uh, and I'm just saying, um, people in their 40s are, are automatically like way, way, way worse at computers. They don't type as fast as us. So um, unfortunately for Americans, we've got a bunch of 80 year olds that want to play political theater because theater they're like, yeah, we're gonna beat them in the next election. And um, I think that's bad for our entire country and the entire world because the entire world's affected by us.